channel this is your girl Shaya Moore and I am back with another install uh, this install will be me showing you how I got this honey blonde ombreish uh, wig look so um, I actually received a video request from someone to do a quick weave um, so I decided to go ahead and do a video on that this is actually a quick weave wig that I made so if you guys are interested to see how I got this color as well as style, then definitely keep watching this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe so you can stay up to date on all my tutorials, reviews, as well as other things that I post on my channel. I just want to say thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Okay, so we're going to get right into the hair that I'm using to do this quick weave wig. Uh, the Hair King DHL and it's from the AliExpress vendor Ali Pearl Hair. And they sent me three bundles and a closure. I have their Brazilian Body Wave hair in lengths 20, 22, and 24 with a 18 inch lace closure. Now the color that I have is their three-tone blonde color, which is sort of like an ombre color because it is a 1B, a 4, and a 27. So that's basically a natural black, and then it goes into a natural brown color, and then fades out into a blondish color. This is the lace closure that I received, and it is the same as the bundles. Um, I didn't see any issues with the lace closure and me having any issues with installing it. Uh, I think the parting of the lace closure as far as like the lace material is of good quality. But One of the things that I did notice about the hair is that the lace closure, the blonde color on the lace closure is way lighter than the actual bundles. So um, what I decided to do is go in and bleach the hair because one, another thing that I did notice is the fact that the bundles as well as the lace closure doesn't have like that fade fade color effect. I, I'm not sure how, what, what you call it, but you can kind of see like a, the demarcation in the bundles as well as the lace closure as far as like the ombre color. So what I decided to do is go in and bleach the hair as well as the closure so I can kind of get that gradient effect so the all the colors kind of fade into each other and you don't see like a line where the natural black ends and the natural brown starts and then so forth so the products that I am using to bleach the hair is I believe it's Clairol quick blue bleaching powder and then I'm also using a 20 as well as a 30 developer and I kind of just mix it together into a bowl. Now I'm just going to go in and bleach the hair just a little bit. I, can't, I mainly just focused on the 20 inch bundle as well as the lace closure because I felt that the two 22 inches you really couldn't see it because the 20 inch and the lace closure will cover that hair. So at what you see me doing is actually um, turning my brush sideways because you want all the colors to kind of fade into each other. You do not want that demarcation line. So um, when you have like an ombre effect going on, so I'm turning my brush sideways and then I'm applying the bleach onto the hair. And then I mainly just let it sit for about I think like no more than like 7 to 10 minutes because this hair actually um, lifted very quickly. So I just kind of wanted the colors to kind of fade into each other so I didn't leave it on that long. And I went ahead and uh, washed the bleach out with the, I think it's called the generic Clairol Shimmer Lights. And you can get it from Sally's. It's not the Claire All Shimmer Light, the actual product, but it's the generic version. And it's way cheaper. You can get it. I, I picked it up from Sally's and I paid like $6.59 for it. And um, I'll give you guys, well, I'll, yeah, I'll give you guys like the link where you can probably purchase it online. And then I also went in, and that's basically the conditioning shampoo. And I went in with the Tresemme Luxurious Moisturizer Conditioner to moisturize the hair as well as the closure. So the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and create the wig. And I'm actually doing like a quick weave because 
you guys, you do not know how many wigs I have sewn within the past couple of weeks. And I was just kind of tired. And I just wanted to, like, hurry up and make this wig. So I decided to use some hair glue. And I'm using the Salon Pro 30 Second uh, Hair Glue to install my bundles. Um, I did not use the glue on the lace closure. I sewed in the lace closure. But as you can see, you know, it's really simple when applying the wefts onto your wig cap when you are using hair glue. You just want to do track for track. And I yes, I did cut my wefts because um, it's kind of difficult to fold over your wefts when you're gluing the hair down so I cut cut the webs and I'm just going in and installing all of the hair okay now that I'm done um, installing the webs onto my wig cap and creating my wig I'm just gonna go in and um, cut some layers and I'm just using a razor that I picked up from the beauty supply store you can get this razor anywhere it's about I think like no more than three dollars um, but yeah I'm going in and doing some heavy layering because I want a lot of layers in my hair so I'm pretty much done cutting the hair and now I'm gonna go in and curl the hair and the tools that I'm using to curl the hair is my sapphire uh, I think it's 8-in-1 curling wand. I'll give you guys all the details if you're interested in purchasing this curling wand. But I've had it for a while and I, 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 I feel like this is like the best curling wand that I've ever had. Um, so I'm going in and just using the curling wand to um, put some curls into this wig. And I'm also going in with my Lansom argan oil uh, ceramic flat iron and if you guys don't remember i used this flat iron in my last video and if you guys are interested in this flat iron i will give you guys um all the details on the flat iron as well um i don't know if you guys remember but this flat iron is really good it's really similar to the babyless pro flat iron it does really well with curling as well as straightening the hair and it's not expensive at all but yeah I'm going in towards the top of the hair with the flat iron just to kind of have like that feathered look 